The floating wetlands developed by Spell Environmental here at Park Lakes 2 on the Sunshine Coast are the largest in Australia at 2,100 square metres. And on top of the fantastic aesthetic outcomes you can see here, it recycles more than 278,000 soft drink bottles that would otherwise go into our landfills. Okay, the way this system works is that stormwater runoff will come down, go through, and pass through the root system that's growing into the water column. This is a floating system, so it, it works very similar to hydroponics. So those roots grow down in the, into the water column, and what they do is they create a surface area for biofilm. And that biofilm is a critical component in removing nutrients from runoff. It also stops and traps sediment in the runoff as well. The, the three key pollutants that we're targeting with this system are total suspended solids, which is a good word for sediment, total nitrogen and total phosphorus. Those are the three pollutants that are required by legislation to be removed in a certain percentage uh, in Queensland. It, it does it far more effectively because what we have here is a huge hydroponic system and everybody knows hydroponic farming. So this is using hydroponics in a large scale in the commercial operation, not for profit, but for treating of stormwater. Before we decided to go with a floating wetland approach, uh, we had fully designed and approved a large 2.6 hectare constructed wetland. Everything you see here would have been planted out. Um, what the developers wanted us to do is investigate floating wetlands as an alternative option. And we met and collaborated with council and the University of the Sunshine Coast to come up with a way to put this system in and also establish a four-year research project so we can definitively answer how these systems remove pollutants. And that the floating wetlands can provide the same performance with a smaller overall footprint and land take. This means the developers can still meet their environmental requirements and maximise the number of lots they can achieve and fully utilise the green space for our community. It's going fantastic. We planted this and installed this in December this year. Um, within two months, the plants pretty much reached full maturity, which we hadn't seen before on any other, other previous installation. Um, we've just finished installing our automatic samplers that you can see there. And over the weekend, we started getting some preliminary data when we had a, our first storm event. A couple of glitches there, but they've all been fixed. So every storm event from now on, we should hopefully be capturing results and starting to see reductions in pollutants. The, this system here, because it, it can work very well in, in the lower lying plains of the Sunshine Coast, you know, some of the cane farms, which are still above flood level, but very close to, you know, close to the water. This system works well hydraulically because it can take full flushes through and still survive. So any storm events, any flood events, the whole system can survive that because all it does is it raises up and then lowers back down. The floating wetlands have been tested internationally and preliminary data is coming from a research site nearby at Bribey Island, where the University of Sunshine Coast and Covey and Associates have been involved in testing. However, to be doubly sure, Council and the University of the Sunshine Coast have set up a research grant with the Park Lakes 2 developers to study this site too. Chris has had a long association with the university, so we've also put many students through our system of working with us while they study at the university. So we've had a long association and this is just further developing that association where we've now got a PhD student involved carrying out trials with us and Chris is in the um, supervision of that student as well. If this wasn't approved, this entire water body would be absent from the estate. Uh, it would be completely planted out as a constructed wetland. Um, so really, it's a big bonus for council, ourselves, and Spell to get this project up and running as an alternative approach um, to give environmental practitioners an additional tool in the toolkit to treat stormwater. This is going well, it's achieving worldwide recognition and along with Spell's promoting it also. But as you know, we've been to France recently and um, my guys presented at a conference over there on stormwater. So which is a big win for the Sunshine Coast because we were promoting the Sunshine Coast and how innovative the Sunshine Coast are. For the community, it's an easy asset for council to maintain. The easier it is, the cheaper it is. It's a win for environment, it's a win for the local community, it's a win for council because of cost saving, it's a win for the Sunshine Coast University because we're putting PhD students through, it's a win for Spell who provide the product, it's a win for Covey's ultimately because we can market this along with Spell worldwide. At the Sunshine Coast Council we pride ourselves on leading the way and protecting our environment wherever we can. The floating wetlands seem to be a promising new option to protect and improve our water quality 
and with the University of the Sunshine Coast on board monitoring and reporting as it progresses, we are confident that we will remain at the forefront with this innovative technology. This is a win for us, a win for the community, a win for the developers and a win for our environment. Thank you.